When I was uh, doing the first draft, I didn't pay much attention or enough attention to the uh, details, you know, or the relationship of values and shapes and perspective and that type of thing. Uh, once I put the um, painting up like this, then I can see all kind of uh, problems there. Overall composition is sound. It's just that minor areas that need a lot of adjustment. Now, when I say that when I start a painting on a wet surface or on a moist paper, that will allow you later on to make modifications easier. Now, the thing I can see here, say for instance, the two umbrellas here, they're very colorful, but then there's no reason why they had to be placed side by side. Is that a, bit, a big problem? No, it's not a big problem. All I need is to suppress one, meaning that you reduce the value. Only the other one will show. Simply just a dug of value in there. Now, that umbrella is still there, but because I reduced the value, it does not read as well. You wanted to get another umbrella, all right, sure. We can give you another umbrella, but it's sort of further away, see that? It's sort of further away and smaller in size and lower instead of higher. So this, again, we will give you another umbrella in here, okay? And then we'll add a touch of color to that uh, later on. The uh, other very obvious thing is that this is an awkward situation in terms of the design, a pole going all the way up uh, with a person, you know? All I need is that to place the pole behind this building, okay? So I will just wipe this out. I will just wipe this out. Yeah, so now the pole go behind there. What am I gonna do with this? Well, simply say again, just suppress the value, okay? Meaning that I will just run a darker value behind there. And making this a part, making this a part of the building. Now you can see the perspective is not correct, all right? Because this is further away, so it should be what? Narrower. Okay, so it means that, it simply means that this had to be slanted down like that. Okay, slanted down like that. And again, maybe we'll push the pole even further out. And if you wanted to add a touch color or something to it, uh, or you wanted to connect the area, sometimes you could have lighter value, or that could be, you know, uh, that could be rope or something, uh, sort of suspend that, um, uh, that on the or some kind of shape coming down there. So it would not be just, um, uh, just an obvious, you know, stop at right there, okay? So this other kind of thing, all right? So at least now, you see, you don't read the pole <laughs> right from the top and all the way to the sky. All right, what else? Now say for instance, in this case here, well, it's sort of a straight line down there. Maybe what we could do is simply just make this part sort of, make it a little bit wider than the upper part of that. So what I would do, simply just uh, carry the dagger value to this. Okay. because we are suggesting that this one part is coming out there, we could somehow dug in a little bit the back there. See that? It give you another layer or another dimension of the building. And again, I think the perspective is not right. You know, the only uh, the perspective, I think this has to be pushed back up. This had to be pushed back up. Mm. 
it's, it's so easy to, uh, to just white out paint, you know. Uh, if it's necessary, certainly you can, uh, you can take it down to the paper white, but it's uh, oftentimes, is it really necessary? I don't think it is necessary. If you say that, well, now it's getting muddy, uh, I don't like it. You know, I don't want to buy your paint. <laughs> you get money. Well, okay, okay, don't worry. Uh, we'll clean up a little bit for you. Just scrub there. Just scrub there. Okay, now you've got a clean slate to start again. Now the car may be looking a little bit awkward, but well, we'll put the light there so that the people could drive at night. Uh, see, again, simply just uh, wipe it out. So that will be the land there. Okay.